We all know what happens on All Hallows' Eve, but I have a story for you you would not believe. The day after Halloween, our story begins. No more candy or costumes or carved up pumpkins. The doc needed a vacation. He was going to Rome, leaving poor little Frankie at home all alone. Doc knew the worst thing he could have on his hands was a hungry green monster making violent demands. So the pantry was stocked. It was filled to the brim. There was no need to worry. There was plenty for him. Alas, the first day, he ate it all up. There was not a trace left, not even a cup. A still rumbling stomach was all he could feel. So Frankie went out in search of a meal. At the first sight of Frankie, the villagers screamed. Their torches were lit. Their pitchforks all gleamed. Off in the distance, in an old cemetery, was a lone little zombie. His name was Gary. Gary saw Frankie being chased down the street and wanted to help. So he got his two feet. He stumbled on down as quick as he could and coaxed Frankie away off the road to the woods. There they were hidden, and Gary could see that Frankie was starving with an empty belly. This was his chance. He could finally cook. There was only one problem. He needed a book. See, when he was alive, Gary was a great chef, but his brains were all eaten. There was nothing left. Just then, in the distance, they heard a harsh cackle. It was one of two things, a witch or a jackal. Gary got an idea, which was rare, indeed. Witches have books, which is just what I need. So they left in a hurry, though they somewhat just stumbled, as Frankie's poor stomach continued to rumble. There on the corner of Toil and Bubble lived Clara the Witch, who was known to be trouble. What is it? yelled Clara as she opened the door. Right behind her were laying some books on the floor. Gary quickly explained, We need recipes! Just this one time to help Frankie. Pretty please. I think I can help his hunger and thirst. We just need to find the ingredients first. I know just the guy, said drooling Green Gary. But just be forewarned, he is kind of hairy. So they went rather quickly to meet Gary's friend. They had to go far to the forest's dark end. Gnawing a bone under the bright moonlight was Rufus the werewolf, out for a bite. Rufus explained they had nothing to fear, for earlier that night he had caught a huge deer. That's just what I need, said Gary with glee. Ingredients in hand, they started to flee. Back at Frankie's home with the werewolf's fresh game, the witch had her pot and conjured a flame. Gary worked quickly to make his creation as the doc headed home early from vacation. Frankie was restless and wanted to eat, so Gary worked fast and promised him meat. Just as Gary completed his work, each placemat was set with a knife, spoon, and fork. Supper was ready. They all took their place. Then the door opened, right during grace. What are you doing? Why are you here? Frankie was hungry. He wanted some deer. Never before had Doc seen such a feast, especially one from a cook who's deceased. Doc joined them for dinner, and it could be said, we can all work together, spooky, scary, or dead. Boo! All right, so this is the behind the scenes of our Frankie video. And uh, here you can see the set. <laughs> there we can see a little Frankie and a little Gary popping up. Um, it's just a light box. And the cool thing is all the backdrops are stacked up against each other. So I can just remove one backdrop and the next backdrop shows up. And our actors <laughs> are down there. <laughs> And the sets um, are all on these little, uh, I don't know, I guess, packages. And I can just pull them in and out. And I've got like, I've got like a tree set and there's the um, pantry. And 
Yeah, and there's a bunch of sticks with little characters on it. But yeah, that's the set for this, and uh, you can see my incredibly messy craft room. Bye!